Valley Cars and Coffee today looking for something really unique. Uh, there's quite a few cars here that are pretty cool. I think I can find something to show you guys that might uh, stand out a little bit more than normal. What's it gonna be? What's it? There's, there's quite a few actually. Uh, Caneo Valley Carson Coffee, hanging out, minding our own business, looking for something cool. Always. You know, and uh, I'm always kind of looking for the, the one thing that stands out, and uh, you have something that's rather unique today. A little. Tell, a little. Me, tell me about this car. Well, the car behind us is a recreation of the 1955 Mercedes-Benz SLR driven by Sir Sterling Moss in the 1955 Mille Amelia thousand mile race across Italy. Yeah, so uh, kind of unique. Very unique. Slightly, but so this is a, uh, a, a uh, recreation of that car. Correct. Which means that it's not in a museum, it's an actual driver. Absolutely. Okay. It's not fun to drive unless you have them. <laughs> and, and what kind of stuff do you guys do with this car? Actually, as surprising as it is, this car just got back to our house right here in Ventura County last night, and this is actually its debut showing. Yeah. Well, we like the unusual, we like the weird, we like things with great story behind them, and the original one of these cars, there was only nine original ones built. All seven, I think, that remain are all in the museum for Mercedes in Stuttgart, Germany. The one of the sister cars to this car was actually the car that caused the '55 Le Mans disaster. So after that, Mercedes Benz pulled out of racing for I think several decades after that. Yeah, yeah. And so the real ones are a unattainable. B, we wouldn't want one because the engines are very complicated and they ran on a very caustic kind of fuel, so you really couldn't drive on the street. And we like sure. to go driving around and. and go to these kind of events and go around the mountain roads and just have a lot of fun. Yeah, you must get a lot of looks, a lot of uh, reactions to this car. It's gotten a few yeah. already. We haven't had it that long, but do, yeah, do it's already think it's, a, it's an original? Yes, actually a lot of people, even our friends who are Mercedes-Benz, you know, enthusiasts, yeah. said, is, is, first question, is that the real one? And of course the reaction is, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, do you, what do you expect one of those things to be worth, one of the originals? I think from all the research I've done on them, Mercedes-Benz has each one of the original survivors insured for around 50 million dollars each okay and they rarely ever come out let's like for the big shows like Pebble Beach or like right. the um, the Mill Amelia recreation yeah. or you know any other major yeah. event that Mercedes so, so safe, safe to say you guys didn't spend that on this car no I mean, maybe a little less not yeah I wouldn't I could live for probably a hundred lifetimes and never get near <laughs> that kind of price have you seen Ford versus Ferrari yet I have what, I went to the uh, premiere showing I actually cars did you go to the I at IMAX no, I went to the Fox Studios okay, inside, okay, but yeah. you know, cars aside, I enjoyed it. It was, yeah. it kept a good pace. I know there's a lot more of the story than they could probably put on film sure. and, and keep it entertaining. Yeah. But it was a good buddy movie. I actually thoroughly enjoyed it. Not a bad movie for a guy from a guy James Mangold who's not actually a motorsports fan. No, absolutely not. And, and I was a big fan of Rush when yeah. uh, Ron Howard brought that movie out. So yeah. I was hoping it'd be the same thing, and it is easily as enjoyable as the same. Awesome. Uh, where can people find out more about the car, more about you? You know, we keep it pretty, uh, we just like to go around, we don't like to be high key, we just go around and just talk to just everybody and just okay. see whatever else brings out, because there's a whole bunch of fun stuff out here, because you never know what's going to show up in the cars and coffee. Thank you, man. All right, my well, pleasure. It. Okay. You got it. All right.
but uh, we're not like two dudes naked walking. Well, just one. Yeah, just. <laughs> I don't know which one it is, but uh, it's the it's closing in on winter here in Malibu, and we're at the beach because it's 86 degrees. Yeah. And we went swimming. We went swimming. Yeah. Well, you know, you we went. Swim. You did. No, I just. Yeah. Yeah. The, sharks. The, the sharks. The sharks. Yeah, land sharks by Kathy. What do you have to say for yourself, Kathy? I have to say, I went out swimming. See? Wet hair. Now the Fiat you can get in uh, uh, in the base model is basically twenty six to twenty nine thousand, but this version, the Abarth version, is forty thousand. It's thirty miles per gallon, so it's uh, pretty good. It's a super tiny car, probably has a super tiny tank. It's a one point four liter turbo, but the design language is very successful. In fact, I think it's probably even more successful than the Mazda MX five. Can't say that it looks Italian, but it, it, I, I like the black, white, and red color scheme. That's pretty cool. <laughs> 